All right, next up, we've got Washington and USC staying in the uh, Pac-12. We've got Washington, uh, three-and-a-half-point road favorites. Uh, the total currently 75-and-a-half, and you knew this total was going to be way up there with how explosive both of these teams are offensively. And without Leakey, suddenly both of these teams have looked in recent games defensively. What's happened to Washington's defense? I mean, look, against Oregon, obviously it's, you know, they're going to give up points. But how do you give up 33 points to Stanford? And I know Ashton Daniels can play. He's a solid quarterback. And Troy Taylor's, you know, got doing some nice things here with Stanford. But you really should not be giving up 33 points. That was a real shoddy performance from Washington on defense. 27 and a half point favorites. They never sniffed a point spread cover. Obviously, the offense, Michael Penix Jr., the great receiver, Odunze, who's just had a terrific year for them. Uh, they did enough on offense to survive with the win. But, uh, no, I think in this situation here, uh, you know, we've got um, two defenses that really um, – that's why the total is where it is. It's just – I don't know if I could bet it over this number. I mean, that's just so high, 75, 76 the way it is right now. But you understand why it is. You know, Washington has scored 42 – uh, 36, 31, 59, and four of their last five games. USC, I mean, look at this defense. It's just so bad. They're so lucky that they beat Cal last week because the defense was atrocious. Jade Knott made them look stupid running the ball against them, especially early in that game. But they've given up 41, 41, 38, 34, and 49 points uh, in the last five games. I mean, it's just no defense to be seen. When's Alex uh, Grinch going to, you know, basically uh, – bite the bullet for this hideous defense. I mean, he's just a terrible job and it, it's getting worse, not better as the season goes on. Look, I think Washington, I could only play Washington here. They've got everything to play for. And, but this is USC as a dog where if you're ever going to take USC, USC, you take them catching points, not laying points, but they're all in six ATS their last six games, USC. And the one, last time they were an underdog, you know, you think, oh, USC is an underdog. This is when you want to bet them. Well, the last time they were the underdog, they got blown out at Notre Dame, 48-20. And it was one of Caleb Williams' worst games you'll ever see him play. So I wouldn't be on this dog. It would be Washington for me. I, I, I'd certainly see a lot of points. I lean over. I just don't know if I could pull the trigger at a number this high. What do you think here, C-Mac? They would have to get some, some turnovers, a, a couple stops. You know, because I think that could this be they're up for this at home? You know, can they play spoiler here? USC, Caleb Williams. I don't know. I just how can there not be points? This is the number one passing offense, and you know, in the league, USC can't stop anything. So just this total's crazy, but man, it's, it seems like it's going to get there. No, <laughs> it just seems like it's going to get there over, even at seventy five. 